who's winning the sports today? Just sports, no the. You probably know him best as one-fifth of New Kids on the Block, but Joey McIntyre has also graced the small screen in Boston Public and CSI New York. Now he's starring in a new TV series on CBS, and he joins me now. Joey, great to have you here. Good to be here. Congratulations, you're on a new show. It's called The McCarthy's. Yeah. It's on CBS. It's a sitcom. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I heard about this, I'm like, this is right up your alley. Yeah. Why is that? It's definitely a, it's a Boston family, Boston Irish family, so uh, not a big stretch as an actor. When I read the script, it was one of those things where I, I just I knew who this character was. I knew who this family was. And I just identified with it. So as an actor, I guess it, it backs up the theory of like, do the research for the role. I have a lifetime of research for this role. It's, it's traditional, but progressive at the same time. You know, it has that family dynamic that we grew up watching on TV, but it's progressive. It talks about stuff that's going on now, and, and, uh, and it's fun. We, we, you know, we, we have fun and push the envelope a little bit. We're kind of crazy. We're very, very opinionated, have a lot to say. What about your character? How would you describe him? Uh, well, in the first episode, uh, you know, I have a line that says, volume and repetition. Volume and repetition. <laughs> he's, he's a basketball coach, 5'9", which is a, a fine size, except he's the little guy in his family. He's got a chip on his shoulder, very opinionated, probably a little sensitive because of that, and maybe a little too hot-tempered at times. That's why you play JV. <laughs> How much of your accent do you have to accentuate, or is it just the? Oh, it's there. This what you see is what, what you, you get. get. Yeah. So it's uh, it's out there and it's authentic. And uh, me and Jimmy Dunn, who plays my twin brother, who's not identical. He's like six three. He's he's from outside of Boston as well. So. Uh, we kind of bring that authentic accent to it. And Brian, the creator, he kind of loosely based this on his own life, correct? It's perfect. The, the main brother, Ronnie, who's played by Tyler Ritter, who uh, his dad's John Ritter, and, and uh, so he comes from amazing TV genes and really sweet guy. But like, like Brian, he was a teacher in real life and did a lot of the similar things. And sometimes it just, it all comes together and, and Tyler plays him perfectly. And Brian, the, the creator, it's, it's, he says it's loosely based on his family, you know, because he doesn't want to, you know, be on the hook too much. Right. And you yourself come from a big family, yeah. right? Huge. How, yeah. You're one youngest, of... Youngest of nine, yeah. One of nine. So how much can you relate to that kind of family vibe and how much, how similar are they to your own family? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. I mean, it's a little different, but just the natural energy, very opinionated, outgoing, standing up for what we think is right, which could really get you in a lot of trouble. And... Um, <laughs> and... Um, but yeah, it's 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 nice, like I said, to to have a whole lifetime to to draw upon to play the role. We're also going to see you on another show, I believe, and this one is about the new kids on the block, and it involves a cruise. Oh yes, 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 yes. yes. So what's this all about? Uh, Donnie is behind this, yes. executive producing it or yes. something, right? Yes. So uh, we've been doing this cruise for about six or seven years, and at first we were like, "This is crazy. What are we doing? We're going to be trapped on a boat <laughs> uh, with a lot of fans." Yeah, with a lot of fans. <laughs> that whole thing, and and uh, you know, the minute we got on the Lido deck that first time, it was just. It was like spring break. It was like, it was unbelievable. We were all kids again and, and everybody was ready to have a good time. And, you know, we want to give them the time of their life. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Our fans now are, you know, older, they have families, they have lives, they have careers, and, they, and we're their getaway. Yeah. You know, and we want to we wanna show them a great time, and it's epic. To get that all on camera and, and shown in a way, it's hard to describe, but now we don't have to describe it. This show is really going to showcase it in, in, a, in a cool way, and it's all through the eyes of the fans. Mm -hmm. You know, we follow around these, I think it's like three or four groups of fans, and and how they see it, and what it means to them. That's great. Uh, quite different than when you got your start in the 80s. I probably couldn't really even step out of your hotel rooms at that yeah. point because the fans yeah. were so young and probably yes. really crazy. Yeah. We're a little older now yeah. and, you know, I'm sure yeah. it's quite different. 1984, you guys formed and yeah. your first album came out in 86. Mm -hmm. It's been 30 years. I it's mean, it's crazy. unbelievable. Do you think, did you ever think you would be doing this at 40, 41 years old? 
Uh, no. I mean, I, I we were feisty guys. You know what I mean? We were teenagers. We'd love to perform. We didn't we didn't think long term. We right. just when's our next show? We get to perform again. How are we gonna make that great? What are we gonna you know do with no money? How are we gonna make it surprise? What's what are we gonna pull out of our hats? You know? I think we never lost that mentality. You know, and and we're grateful that we get to do what we love. The the fans have just always shown up for us, and now you know we can look back on all that stuff and appreciate it, but also challenge ourselves and keep it current and fresh. You had a new album out last year, 2013. Yeah. Do you see yourself making some new music with the new kids at some point? Yeah, I think so. I, I, there's just something about um, when we get on, a, we have our own sound, you know. Um, when we get all our voices together on a record, we kind of make it our own. And, you know, it is. it definitely is a challenge. It's we're, we're, we're busy enough as it is with our lives and our family and then just putting together great tours that we're, we're proud of and excited about so the music thing you know but that's the, it infuses more energy we look for ways to you know keep it fresh and, and exciting 30 years from now are you on stage with oh the new kids because we we're not, yeah. I don't even want to know you'll be 70 30 years something. yeah um, <laughs> I don't know we won't be we won't the minute we can't do that you know new kid dance we're we're, we're <laughs> We might have to, but we'll adapt, I think. We'll adapt. Stools, maybe? Yeah, yeah. something. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We always want, it, it's got to feel cool, you know what I mean? And and when it doesn't feel cool, you know, we'll still be friends and, and we'll still have our fans and we'll, we'll find ways to connect. But for right now, it, it's still cool. Oh, great. Well, thank you so much for coming in today. Thank it was you. really fun. Thank you. You can catch Joey McIntyre in the McCarthy's Thursday nights at 930 on CBS. For this and all things entertainment, stay with CBSNews.com.